consumers tend to have this general misconception that just because a product is more expensive, it's superior to anything you can find for cheaper in every way imaginable. Now, oftentimes this is true. A higher quality generally necessitates a proportionally higher price tag. But what we tend to ignore is the fact that even expensive products are not flawless by any stretch of the imagination. Which leads us to today's topic, OLED monitors and burn-in. OLED is the new display technology that manufacturers seem keen on pushing into the gaming monitor market, but which we feel don't rightfully have a place there just because the average consumer is likely not to know what they're getting into when they buy one of these. These monitors are prohibitively expensive, which may lead some to believe that they are the RTX 2080 Ti's of the monitor world. Unaffordable by most, but definitely worth it for those with deep enough pockets who want the best performance money can buy. But the problem with OLED monitors isn't just the price. They're also prone to catching this nasty terminal disease known as burn-in. This is why in today's video, we'll be going over everything you need to know about burn-in when it comes to OLED monitors in order to properly prepare should you wish to buy one of these for yourself. So without any further ado, let's begin. First up, we need to explain a bit about how OLED works and what makes it so special. We'll be covering just the basics here since we've already made several videos that deal with OLED specs and how they compare to other display technologies. So check them out if you want a more detailed explanation. The links are in the description. The short of it is that OLED, or Organic Light Emitting Diode, is a display technology that doesn't utilize an active backlight. Instead, every pixel on an OLED display functions as its own light source. This makes OLED displays not only more power efficient than LCD ones, but also technically superior in pretty much every way. They have better color accuracy, deeper contrast, higher refresh rates, and faster response times. The contrast is perhaps the most noteworthy aspect since these displays can display true black just by turning the appropriate pixels off. So in a way, the sentiment that we've started this video with is true. OLED monitors are superior to LCD ones. But now that we understand the basics of how OLED works and the good that it does, let's take a look at the nasty side of things. Just like lithium ion batteries are expected to lose capacity over time, OLED displays are expected to lose brightness. The biggest problem, however, is that each pixel will lose brightness at its own pace. And this is basically what burn-in is all about. It occurs when a portion of the screen, meaning a certain number of pixels, gets worn down and grows dimmer at a faster rate than the surrounding pixels. This generally happens when a single static image is displayed for a prolonged period of time. Think TV channel logos or the Windows taskbar. You could spend hours on your computer browsing the internet or watching YouTube videos or endlessly scrolling on Facebook, anything that's not in full screen mode, and the Windows taskbar would remain essentially the same throughout this whole process. Now, the good thing about the taskbar is that it generally tends to be in a darker color, but the type here to search portion is, unfortunately, a bright white point of weakness. The bright parts of static images are the most prone to burn in, and thus age faster than the pixels around it, so not even the whole of the taskbar area would grow dimmer at the same rate. We should also mention the fact that the effects of burn in are permanent. There is no way to fix it once the damage has been done. And since this is something that's expected to happen eventually, it's not covered by warranty. So yeah, OLED monitors are technologically superior, but do you want to pay such a high price for a monitor that'll end up with uneven brightness after some time? If the answer is yes, then here are a couple of things you should know about combating this issue. The younger portion of our audience probably won't be familiar with this, but OLED monitors aren't the first monitors to suffer from burn-in. CRT monitors had a similar problem. These would be the old, bulky monitors that easily weighed 20 pounds or more. The specifics were a bit different since the pixels of CRT monitors did not light up individually, but the undesirable effects of burn-in were just as irksome. This is why screensavers became a thing. 
they quite literally saved your screen from burn-in and they can do so again for OLED monitors. To activate Screensaver on Windows 10, just go to Settings, then click on Personalization, then on Lock Screen, and finally on the Screensaver setting link. You'll then be presented with a drop-down menu that features a selection of screensavers you can use. Simple and effective. Another feature that helps a lot is the Dark Mode. Like we've said, bright pixels are more prone to catching burn-in. So by using dark mode, you can save a lot of pixels from unnecessary trouble. Lowering the brightness can also help, especially if you're using the display for hours on end for word editing or something similar. And of course, nothing beats turning the monitor off when you're stepping away from it. Screensavers help, but this is an even better preventative measure. Plus, it's not like manufacturers aren't aware of this issue, so they tend to include various features that help prevent unnecessary pixel wear and tear. For example, some OLED displays come with a feature that detects static pixels and periodically refreshes them or even automatically reduces their brightness to help prevent burn-in from developing. Lastly, we should also note that burn-in and image retention are not the same thing. Image retention is what happens when, after the display has been showing a static image for a long time, the so-called ghost of that image remains on the screen. To tie in with our previous example using the Windows taskbar, image retention would make it so that you could still see the faint outline of the Windows bar even after you turn on a video or a game in full screen. The Windows bar wouldn't actually be there, but it would leave a trace. It's annoying as hell for sure, but thankfully it's not permanent, so if this does happen to you, there's no need to panic. You've just gotta wait it out. Still, with not just the astronomical prices, but also two highly inconvenient potential issues in the form of burn-in and image retention, are OLED monitors even worth it? Well, we've made a whole separate video on this topic, so give that a watch if you'd like the detailed rundown. But basically, we feel that OLED monitors are best left for professionals who need the best color accuracy they can get. OLED smartphones aren't problematic since these get the chance to let their pixels cool off regularly. Plus, you're much more likely to swap your smartphone in for a new one long before burning gets the chance to settle in than you are a monitor. So for the purposes of gaming, we feel that the performance does not justify the exorbitant cost. Definitely not once you factor in the potential threat of burn-in. There are plenty of alternatives out there that are much more affordable and entirely hassle-free. So if you're in the market for a new monitor, check out our guide for the best gaming monitors of 2020 down in the description. And that about does it for this video. To sum it up, the OLED display technology is a thing of beauty when admired outside the PC gaming context. But the threat of the inevitable burn-in, along with the sky-high price tags associated with it, makes it more trouble than it's worth for gamers. If you disagree with this, which you're of course more than free to do so, just remember to take the preventative measures we've recommended to help your monitor stay in top condition for as long as possible. In any case, we hope you found this video helpful. Let us know if you have by liking it, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a comment. And if your friends could also benefit from watching this video, do them a favor and share it around. Also, if you want to see more videos like this one and don't want to miss any, click on the bell icon. We upload new videos on a weekly basis, so the next one should be right around the corner. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.